Welcome to a tutorial on how to solve equations on the TI-89 graphene calculator. To begin, I do have the calculator set to exact mode. If we press the mode key and then F2 for page 2, notice how down here it does say exact. If we arrow down to see exact and press the right arrow, remember there are three options, automatic, exact, and approximate. I prefer the exact mode. In exact mode, if we want the approximate value, we can always press diamond enter. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter and then enter. Whenever solving an equation that we know has a real solution, we can use the solve function under the algebra menu, which is F2. So to solve the equation 3x plus 7 equals 19, we'll press F2. Notice how solve is the first option, so we can press 1 or enter. I'm going to press enter. Enter the equation 3x plus 7 equals 19. We want to solve for the variable x, so we enter comma x, close parenthesis, and enter. The solution is x equals 4. Next, we want to solve x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. So f2, enter, enter the equation, x raised to the power of 2 minus 2x. Notice how I accidentally pressed z. So to clear this, I just press the back arrow, enter the x, and continue. So minus 15 equals 0. We're solving for x, so comma x, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how we have two solutions, x equals 5 or x equals negative 3. Our next equation is another quadratic equation, but this one's not factorable. So enter f2, enter 2x raised to the power of 2 plus 4x minus 5 equals 0, comma x, close parenthesis, enter. Notice we have two real irrational solutions, which means you would have had to solve this using the quadratic formula. It is important to be aware that sometimes the 89 will show the solution in a different form than we're used to seeing. Notice how when we apply the quadratic formula, we normally don't have parentheses in the solution. But these two solutions would be equivalent to the solutions we would find using the quadratic formula. Next, we have an exponential equation. So we'll press F2, enter, and we have e raised to the power of 2x. So we'll enter diamond x, which brings up e raised to the power of 2x, close parenthesis, plus 5 equals 12. Again, we're solving for x, so we enter comma x, close parenthesis, and enter. And notice our exact solution is x equals natural log 7 divided by 2. And again, keep in mind, if we have a solution that involves a natural log, it can be written in different forms or with logs of different bases. Because our solution contains natural log, we'd have to solve this equation by hand using natural log in order to get the solution in this form. And then finally, for our last equation, we have x squared plus 4 equals 0. So let's press F2 and then option 1 for solve. And then enter for the first option, solve. And we'll enter x raised to the power of 2 plus 4 equals 0, comma, x, close parenthesis, and enter. And notice how the calculator is saying false, which is telling us this equation does not have any real solutions. The solutions are going to be complex. So we'll have to use C-solve rather than solve in order to solve this last equation. So let's go ahead and press F2, arrow down to complex, right arrow once. We want to select seesaw, which is the first option. So we can press 1 or enter. Now enter the equation again. So we have x raised to the power of 2 plus 4 equals 0, comma, x, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how we have two complex or imaginary solutions, x equals 2i or x equals negative 2i. I hope you found this helpful.